roll out bit of a break to say the least in today's video we're going to look at what is possibly the best lineup from tailor-made so far that lineup is tailor-made's new spider tour different versions that are very very different but all have something that will definitely appeal to most average golfers now we've got two of those models on screen are the different varieties and options that you can choose from the reason i'm showing you that's because i can't remember the name of all of them but essentially what they do differently is they move around the cg placement and you'll get a very different feel between each of the putters and we've got two very different models the x and the z model um, so what it changes, it changes stability in terms of MOI, but it also changes the profile significantly and what you like to see it address. This model is really favored by, like so Rory McIlroy made this particularly popular because it's almost like people who would prefer to put with a blade, so that kind of weighting and feel, but it's got the stability of a mallet. And what they do is they shove the weight really far forward and have a quick roll but why I think this is such an interesting lineup from Swing Ball, why I think this is such an interesting lineup is it's so important that you've got variety and choice in terms of every club in the bag. And I think, as with every other product, it's essential that you go through the process of get custom fit or at least try all of these because even though I've only got two models in hand, they're significantly different. Turn. Interesting enough for me, one of the things that uh, we've spoke about is the different sort of weight positioning that CG location changes. I want to literally have a look um, at the bottom of the sole to make sure I've got the right one, but this is the Tor Z. Bit of weight position forward. And it's a, a very, it's a very strange and unusual thing because you associate with any sort of stable face balanced mallet to have the weight very much at the back end. This is moved forward. So sitting in an address, it's a very, very different feel than having the other model that we've got in hand where the weight is at the very back. These two models that I'm looking at are not the most stable in terms of MOI. There is the standard Tor model that again comes in at sort of five, seven MOI. These two things that I'm looking at today in and around five, uh, 5,000 MOI, really important that you get every one of these putters tried if you can, because that stability and that MOI can be really important to you. I mean, just on that note, I'm going to switch over into the, uh, there's that many names. This is the X weight at the back where I'd expect to see it in this type of model. The interesting point is, is they sit very differently in terms of the other one is a very flat and sleek looking model, almost like the blade type. And I think that's what's become very popular with the likes of Rory McIlroy using that model. This is very much more traditional in its shaping. Got a bit too wide with that, but good end over end roll in terms of that strike ball is really good as a training aid to see what your putting strokes like but there is such a difference between these two models maybe that's why we've been sent them because they're almost opposites like i said and if you take a look at the back end there you'll see weight and weight associated to be but that means it changes the profile as well it becomes a bit more chunkier rather than sort of slim down at that back end so two very very different models and that's why this lineup for me of five models has been the best that we've ever seen from TaylorMade in terms of their spider range. So today's video comes to you in association with our travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they sent us off to Portugal, arrived in Lisbon Airport and then a short drive to Dolce Campo Real. The Donald Steele Design Golf Course weaves its way through valleys, mountains and vineyards and is a true test of golf in the most tranquil of surroundings. Breathtaking views from elevated tees and fairways that wind through a landscape arriving at well-protected greens, each shot requires your full attention. A clubhouse awaits for post-round drinks, then relax into the modern hotel rooms, bars and restaurants, refreshed and ready to do it all again. For more information on this or any other golf trip you may be planning, speak to the team at glencoregolf.com. One thing I want to mention is a very, very different head cover in this new Spider lineup. It's super soft, it very much looks after your putter, 
but from a design perspective, I really like the look of it as well. Now, the one thing that you would associate with the sort of spider lineup is stability. Um, over the years, and go back sort of almost 20 years, I believe, since the first model came out, it was a putter that I had in the bag for many years. And the one thing, like I said, it was so, so stable as a kind of the new kind of mallet design. And I still really like that kind of putter to this day. The one thing I'm a bit disappointed with in terms of what I've got out here on the golf course today, oh, nice, is the fact that neither of these models the, um, that I've got would be my sort of, the, the area that I'd be drawn towards. That standard tour model with that 5.7 MOI would be really interesting for me. And it's both also got the high forgiveness, but also that more iconic shape going back to the first models. You then got the other end of the spectrum that um, the Tor S, I believe, which is a little bit bigger in terms of overall profile and gives you that extra bit of a stability as well in terms of that perimeter weighting. So I'd really like to get my hands on those two to cast a better judgment on what I'd be drawn to. But in terms of the face, this pure roll face that they've inserted, in terms of that stability, just everything about this lineup is really, really good. And I think he's without doubt the best lineup of putters uh, in this model range that has ever come from TaylorMade. And if you're looking for a putter, you want help and you want stability, that's the key area to go to with these. But then there's a few little nuances in between that could also draw you from your current putter into one of these models. Right, that's me done. As ever, thanks for watching. Let me know if you think that you are going to be looking at one of these. Even if it's from a looks perspective, any kind of feedback I can get, I just love to get some interaction, communication in that comment section down below and let me know what you thought. Right, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.